Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Energies for your person, the Magician and the Page of Pentacles. Between you and your person, we have the Ten of Cups. Meeting energies, Six of Wands, the Chariot and the Temperance. The Oracle cards, Exchanging Gifts, Orphaned and Imagine. Guys, it seems that some of you may have to decide if you want to allow this connection to stay alive. The situation started with positive expectations, if we follow the Ten of Cups energy. You thought that the opportunity was one deserving of your time and energies, Nine of Cups. Now the situation is different and it became one that can follow the saying, careful what you wish for because it is fair to say that some of you now are experiencing five of pentacles energies together with this person. They are settling for the bare minimum, page of pentacles, the magician, one man show or one woman show. This person loves to take the lead. They love when other people follow them, you know, but I am not sure that they can be a trustworthy partner. This is uh, the point, guys, because they may want what they want without realizing if a person close to them is satisfied or not. So at the end of the day, this person wants to go with the flow, the temperance. The chariot can be an urge about success, but it seems that they are the only one that is winning in a situation like this one. And you have to evaluate if you can find your victory with this person or if the orphaned oracle card is a catalyst in order for you to make the decision to leave behind this connection because it is not possible to share love basically with this person. Maybe it was just a thought and if that's the case you may have to move in a different direction in order to find your own success. So this can be a wake-up call for some of you. This can be almost a call to action. You may have to look at the reality of things, even if it may sting a little, you know. Let's see what we can get. Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, for the Nine of Cups. So what do you want? Are you fulfilled? Yes or no? Five of Pentacles, not exactly in favor of a yes. Two of Pentacles, you have been juggling the connection, guys. The Ace of Swords can break the loop. This is important, this is necessary, I would say. Knight of Wands for the Magician. This person, this person wants what they want. They can be inconsistent if we think about someone that can lead by example. They expect for you guys to tag along with them because they are amazing and maybe they are a passionate lover. It may not be enough. Ten of Wands for the Page of Pentacles. They will try to hold on to you. Uh, they are not used to lose, you know? Uh, especially in the Romantic Arena, maybe. This time, it is more than an option. Ace of Pentacles for the Six of Wands. Five of Wands for the Chariot. And the Temperance for the Temperance. This person doesn't want to lose the connection. If you decide to stay in it, you may pay a higher price because the situation, despite the starting appearance, you know, may be an illusion. Ace of Pentacles, a cornerstone in order to build for the future. This person can say that everything is possible on paper. In reality, some of you can experience a lot of turmoil, five of wands. There can be confusion, speaking in general, in the alchemy of this connection. You may struggle to understand each other. The Five of Pentacles, for me, guys, is an energy that is not in favor of a productive communication because it's like when we have to talk with a stranger, we can speak different languages. We may struggle to understand each other. So if we cannot understand each other, how can we find solutions when we face certain problems? So... If you do not trust the situation, it's impossible to build for the future. 
the temperance guys can be a polite way to resolve uh, the stagnant situation in order to then move in a different direction. The temperance for me can be the opportunity to take the higher road. So there is a careful what you wish for type of vibe when it comes to these energies. What should you focus on? Let's see. Three of Pentacles, working together, building solid foundations, but there is openness in the Three of Pentacles for me, the willingness to listen to what another person may have to say. And this is a key factor in order for us to learn something new and improve ourselves so that we can do things in a better way. This is a small connection from your perspective, guys. This person... This person can be satisfied with the situation, but they can have a different mindset. The fool, leap of faith. This person can ask for it. So basically, give me another chance. Some of you may want to hit the road instead. And the Ace of Swords can be truly an energy about clarity. Page of Pentacles, recurrent energy. It is not the ace, the moon. Something is unclear, something is kept hidden. There is a facade. Guys, imagine Oracle card. The idea that the Ten of Cups was available for this connection maybe was just a thought. It was an illusion if we follow the moon. Now some of you can wake up. It may not be pleasant, but... This can make all the difference in your favor moving forward. Because if you want the Ace of Pentacles and you're basically dealing with someone that is settling for a page energy, we cannot match. And this person can be a good talker, let's say, if we follow the magician, but at the end of the day, they constantly fall short. What's the obstacle? Ten of Pentacles, legacy, a family picture, a commitment, not available. Because this person maybe doesn't want that. They want another thing. And they expect for you to settle for it. I would be careful with that type of decision. Seven of Wands, a roadblock, but it can go two ways. This person is not available to meet you guys halfway. They want the connection to stay as it is, even if, with their words, they can say that, you know, we can find a new agreement, we can work things out, things will improve, let's stay together. Some of you can say, I do not think so. I am not interested in the same old song. Seven of Swords, on point, guys. So, in the obstacle, it means that there is not enough trust in favor of the person and the connection. We can think about a self-sabotage in a situation like this one. Maybe for others of you in a more challenging situation, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords and the Moon can describe distractions, maybe potential betrayals. If that's the case, the connection is already over, guys. You thought that it was a positive situation. It is not. Let's speak our truth, Ace of Swords, and let's move on. This person, if we follow the Seven of Wands, this person may not go down without a fight, let's say, but it seems that some of you can break free from this stuck situation. Ace of Swords, basically breaking the infinite symbol, the loop, in the Two of Pentacles. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Not yet. Let's keep shuffling. Here we go. Ace of Wands. Another factor that the magician can work with. It is not the right answer. It is not the X factor in order to save this connection. 
maybe there was passion, yes. Now, all of a sudden, 10 ones, the last mile of a disappointing situation. Knight of Pentacles, this can be what you want. This can be what you want if we follow the Ace of Pentacles, and it's about trust, honesty, loyalty. We can build for the future, the vision is the same. We are willing to work for the success of the connection. That's why I usually say, guys, that for me, the Knight of Pentacles can also become the energy of the offer that never comes, because the Knight is the slowest of the four. This person, tremendously inconsistent. King of Pentacles, another energy about commitment. If you are stable and grounded, if you know that we have to work for a connection to be successful, we have to put effort in favor of the situation, we have to cooperate with a partner, if you know all these things, it can be easier for you to realize that this person is not on the same page. So, if you realize that, are you going to turn a blind eye on that realization? It wouldn't be wise, if you ask me. That's why the Ace of Swords can follow the saying, truth can set you free. The transition may ask for a price. All right, let's pay the price. Let's move on. Let's find something better, someone better. Four of Cups, not interested in keep doing things in the same old fashion, in the same old way. It's on point. So the apology can come to you. It can fall short. If you allow me to say, the apology in this case should fall short because this can set you free. And you will have other opportunities. You will have the chance to completely transform your life in order to begin a new chapter without this person. But first, you have to handle the situation and you may have to put a closing point on it. Because if you settle for this arrangement, these energies are basically telling us that those of you that can resonate are on the losing side of the agreement. And so, before you make the decision to stay in the situation, factor that in your evaluation, you know? So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So, thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.